What's going on guys, PixCan20 back again with a brand new video. We are here for our Manufacturer Cup race, the second race of the season, and it's going to take place at Suzuka Circuit. As we are in our Mercedes SLSs, it's going to be a grade 4 race. Now, if you guys haven't yet, we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you guys enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out a lot when you guys do so. Now, uh, getting into the race, I felt like I was barely really prepared for this race. I'm actually pretty good at Suzuka. I did pretty well here as we were racing for 213 points um, if you finish in first for the race. Anyways, jumping into qualifying here, we uh, actually put in a pretty good lap. I thought I felt really confident about this lap, but uh, we made a couple of mistakes coming out of spoon curve. Caught us a couple of tenths, but we were able to get fifth place for the qualifying as the rest of the cars are starting to finish up now. You see, we jumped down to fifth place, and we are only off by uh, about four tenths of a second from pole, so it's a pretty close uh, top five as uh, the top three were only separated by a tenth of a second. So it's going to be a really, really interesting race just because everyone qualified so close. And uh, again, we weren't that far away from the leader, so we might be able to contend for at least a podium here if the uh, leader doesn't pull away from here. So the required tires were the hard, so the strategy was to try to keep on the mediums as long as we can, and then on the very last lap or the lap before the last lap switch off to the hards and uh, or you can do two mediums and switch off to the hards on the last lap depending on uh, you know where you are on track position so coming into the race we are starting here as we fast forward down the straightaway heading to turn number one we're right behind the Alfa Romero heading to turn one and uh, we're trying to catch up to him as we try to just take it very cautiously if you go very very wide you can go spinning um, off of turn number one as a lot of cars do so, uh, majority of the time, especially on the first lap, the cars, uh, the tires are still pretty cold, and uh, it's just really difficult to gain grip on the first turn. So uh, heading into S curves and heading into Dunlop curve, we're right behind the Alphas. We're trying to get close as we can. As we, the top three are actually getting away from us as we head out of the hairpin. Jumping up into Spoon curve now, we are catching up to fourth place, and we actually get into a slipstream. So we might try to pull off and overtake here as we try to get. He actually covers the inside here, so we just back out of the move, breaking right where we need to, heading into Spoon Curve. We try to get a good exit as we're going to head into the straightaway, heading into 130R. We get to uh, the Alpha and right behind him into the Slipstream. We're trying to stay behind him as we go down the straightaway that's going to lead us into 130R. We get a pretty good run as we're going to have a pretty good straight line speed compared to the rest of the cars as the Mercedes is really, really overpowered on the straight line. We give the Alpha a little bit of a bump since uh, we actually need to catch up to the top three so we don't uh, lose their uh, slipstream. Coming out of the final turn into turn uh, lap number two, we still get on the uh, Alpha slipstream and we actually pull off into the inside to see if we could try to make a move heading into turn number one. Heading into turn no number one, we're heading side by side. We actually make contact going into turn number one, heading to turn number two. We make contact again and uh, keep it on the outside as we start heading into the S curves. We let the Alpha go ahead of us and uh, follow right behind him. And actually, I give him an accidental bump. That was my bad. Braked very, very late. As uh, actually helped him pr than probably hurt him because look how far he actually got away from us. So, heading off of S curve, we're going to head into Dunlop curve. And uh, we're still right behind the Alpha. Coming into the end of lap number two, we're heading to the chicane here. And uh, we're trying to stay behind the Alpha so we can stay in the slipstream and hopefully get a good run coming out of the final turn and uh, try to make an overtake down the straightaway. We can pull out from the slipstream, go into the inside of the straightaway, trying to uh, make a move before we head into turn number one. We got the straight line speed and we have the position. Break very, very late, try to keep it on the inside. And we are able to get fourth place heading off of turn number one. So heading into the S curves now, we set our sight on the top three as they have like about a three second uh, advantage over us so we're gonna have to do everything we can to try to at least catch up to them or hope that they're racing hard with each other and uh, allow us to catch up to them so jumping into lap number five we're heading into 130R we're seeing behind us that the Alpha is still right behind us we haven't been able to pull away from him being he's been able to uh, stay on our slipstream and just managed to catch up to us so we head into the chicane you see second place actually goes wide and third he actually gets sent down to third and let's see what happened here. He was right behind the Mercedes, got very, very loose heading into the first chicane, got back on the track and just lost it again. Luckily, we didn't run into him as we were very, very close, but we make the overtake and now we're in the podium as we set our sights on the top two. So 
coming out of turn the last turn we jump into lap number six coming in, uh, into the middle part of lap number six we're heading into the hairpin and you see the alfa romeo is still right behind us as he's got a a lot more of an advantage on the handling so throughout these current uh turns he kept catching up to us as we would pull away a little bit on the straightaway but he would be able to use the solution to just catch right back up to us and then he had basically a lot of advantage on each and every turn so we're trying to get away from him now as we head into spoon curve and he's still staying right behind us as the slipstream is so powerful it's, it's uh allowing him to stay with us coming into spoon curve now we're heading towards the end of it that's going to lead us to the straightaway we're just trying to get a good exit off but the alpha actually gets a better exit and he's able to stay on the uh slipstream of us as we head into 130r heading into 130r here we're still trying to get away from the alpha as he's still trying to stay behind us he actually takes a look on the outside head into the chicane we keep we defend the inside position as we head into the chicane break as late as we can we're able to hold the position so we're able to hold third place as we head into the end of lap six coming out of the final turn jumping into lap seven so going down the straightaway here we're heading into turn number one we try to break as late as we can again and the alpha is still right behind us he all actually takes a look on the inside but we cover him backs out of the move a little bit as he's going to go to the outside of us as we head into s curves and uh you see right behind us that the alpha and the toyota are actually battling with each other and they both make contact so we actually are able to pull away from them but the toyota is able to catch up to us as we head into the uh end of lap number seven coming down spoon curve you see second is right ahead of us in our grasp and we're trying to catch up as best as we can to him but the toyota is now right and he's actually catching up to us as we head down the straightaway leading into 130r we try to cover the inside here Try to block two uh, two lanes as we come into 130R, but the Toyota actually gets onto the inside of us, and we got to back out of the move right here. So the Toyota overtakes us heading into 130R, but that also invites the Alpha, and he overtakes us too. So we lose two positions in the span of one corner, and now we got to try to make our way back through the pack and uh, pass the Alpha and the Toyota to get back to the podium. So we slip, we uh, go back into the slipstream of the Alpha as we head into the final corner leading us into lap number eight. Nothing really happens throughout the lap as we try to catch up as best as we can, but jumping into lap number nine, we come out of Dunlop Curve, heading to Degner one and Degner two. And you see right behind us that we have the, Cit the Citroen right behind us. And uh, he might try to make a move on the inside, but he doesn't. So we try to hold our position as we head into Degner two. And uh, you see the Toyota actually goes a little bit wide as we go a little bit wide too, as we're trying to cover the outside that's gonna lead into the inside, onto the hairpin. We defend the inside. We go side by side into the hairpin. Hold it there. Hold it. We try to force the Citroen wide, but he holds his position too. And we're going side by side now as we go into turn number 12 and 13. He actually gets ahead of us, and we actually lose the position heading into Spoon Curve. We try to get back to the slip stream and try to see if we can make a uh, uh, move on the inside going into Spoon Curve. We back out of the move right there. So we actually go into the outside, into the inside here, coming into the end of Spoon Curve. We hold the inside here as we're going to go side by side coming out of two, uh, Spoon Curve and down the straightaway. We go side by side going down the straightaway and he's got a lot better of a straight line speed as we try to get right behind him on the slipstream and hopefully try to make a move heading into 130R. We try to make a move on the outside. He covers us on the outside. We have to let go of the gas a little bit as we head into 130R and we're going uh, basically right behind him as we head into the chicane. Now we break as late as we can as he defends the inside heading into the chicane. And he's able to cover us as we head into the final t uh, turn. We actually jump into the pits and we follow him in. And so we're uh, going to switch from the mediums to the required hards. Do our pit stop here. Let's see where we're going to end up when we come out. We come out in 10th position right behind the Citerion. As uh, we head into turn number one, you can see there's a few cars ahead of us. But one of them actually has a penalty. So we're probably going to catch up to them since we have fresher tires. And I believe those cars still have to go into the pit, the ones right ahead of us. So... It's going to be a very, very difficult battle here because we're getting, we need to get past the Citroen right here. But we also need to get past the other cars or not, or try, at least try to avoid them so we don't lose that much time from fourth place. or third, Yeah, from fourth place as we head into S curves. We're coming out into Dunlop curve and we're trying to at least make a look on the inside. But we can't as we're still following the Citroen and in, in, um, heading off of Dunlop curve. That's going to lead us into uh, Degner 1, Degner 2. We break right before the 50 meter board and we get a great run going into Degner 1 and get a very, very uh, late breaking as we head into Degner 2. We get a good exit as we come out and we try to stay behind the Citroen as we come into 
the turn number 12 and 13, heading into Spoon Curve. We still are right behind him as we head down the straightaway. That's going to lead us into 130R. Eighth place actually serves his penalty on the penalty zone. You can see we're catching up on him really, really fast. As we try to make a move on the outside into 130R, we actually overdo it and we go out <laughs> off of 130R. We almost clip the the dirt and we uh, we don't make up a position there. It's, we actually lose a ton of time from the Citroen as we head into the final lap, heading past the chicane. And we actually see it. There's a yellow flag and it's the Mercedes that's out. I wonder what happened with him. Was he, he tried, I believe he tried going to the pits and he slammed into the wall. And it's just resetting him back to the track. So that gains us a position. We're in fifth place now as we head down the straightaway, leading us into the final lap. Going to turn number one. We're uh, about a few seconds behind the stitcher as we try to overtake the car coming out of the pit. Yes, we do. And uh, we head into turn number one. There's actually another yellow flag as this, I believe, the, the Honda NSX that's out. He, we try to avoid contact with him. And we do, so uh, jumping on board on him. I don't even know how he got ahead of us, but somehow he got ahead of us. Loses it going into turn number one. Goes very, very wide. And we're able to uh, make the overtake on him as we head into S-curve. So now we set our sights on third and fourth. And we're trying to catch up to them now as they're battling side by side with each other. Going into the straightaway on the final lap, we head into... Uh, 130R, as you see, they're still fighting with each other. They're going to go side by side as they head into 130R. Actually, they don't, but I thought they were going to go side by side. But the Toyota's going to try to make a move on the outside, heading into Chicane. They go side by side into Chicane, and the Toyota backs out of the move. As we catch up a lot, we're almost right behind them. As we're trying to reach their back bumper, but we're going to run out of time. And we're going to end this race in the fifth place position as we finish right behind the Toyota. So... Not too shabby of a race. We were able to gain a lot of uh, points, especially compared to last week as we uh, got hit with the penalties on the last race. So very, very uh, proud of this uh, result as there was a lot of very, very fast cars. And Mercedes is not really that uh, good on this car, or not on this car, but on this track. So uh, if you guys really enjoyed the race, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. It really helps out the channel when you guys do so. I post daily uh, GT Sport content. So if you guys want to see more, uh, subscribe. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.